some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Now, I was going to do this video yesterday, but... Well, due to what happened in the North Florida region around the Tallahassee area, yeah, I ended up losing internet and all that, and ended up getting sideswiped by a tornado. But I'm here and ready to get this uh, video into gear. Now, today's video is one that she ended up posting a few months ago, but she has a new update on it. Apparently, she filed a federal LOL lawsuit. So we're going to revisit this particular video and go over what she claims in her laugh out loud lawsuit that she thinks is going to pass the muster. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Glory up above the Florida state flag. that's going to be telling lies here is you and i'm glad you left this video intact that way people can come back point and laugh at how much you did lie especially the uh defendants in your case because well yeah i don't see that case going forward very well in fact they'll probably only be laughed right out of court now serving the the Oh, here's the testing facility, the testing station over here. Isn't that cool? So here's where you take your test. There's, as you notice, there's like absolutely nothing that prevents anybody from going over here, which is unusual because a lot of these places actually put a uh, some kind of a barrier up. Well, Lana, it might be due to funding. It might be due to the fact that they don't have incompetent morons such as yourself coming into these places uh, that often and trying to uh, push people around, acting like they're superior to everybody else. You in particular, since you believe that uh, being a member of the press gives you rights above and beyond everybody else. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much your... Uh, whole spiel right there that you have freedom of the press and therefore they can't do anything to you that you are immune to everything i mean that's pretty much what you say that's how it, it comes out as so, yes. oh, well, I, I don't need it i'm good yeah thank you have a nice day god bless you at window 16, now serving B, 123, at window 19. Oh, I don't need it, thank you. Yep, God bless. You know, Lana, uh, I always ask for sources on my videos, and I really appreciate it when a frauditor actually puts up something like this on their video. That way I can actually look it up and see what it says on their website, or the primary source document. Now, there are several 
takeaways that I have found on the primary document found on their website. First thing, first things first, there's the uh, opening paragraph, which basically states that they will make accommodations for uh, journalists if they want to film in there, which I'm sure they will do that. They'll make it, they'll have interviews available and everything like that. So that way you won't catch any personal information. But that doesn't mean you can just walk right in there unannounced and uh, film everything to your heart's content. Of course, it says here that uh, videotaping, photographing, recording, filming, or interviewing is uh, prohibited. Now, it goes on to the rationale behind it down here. Identification, numbers, documents, and passports, driver's licenses, ID cards, and social security card numbers are confidential in nature, therefore exempt to pub from public disclosure. Videotaping, photographic, recording, or filming personal documents or conversations that contain information exempt from public record is prohibited. And that goes right with uh, Florida's two-party consent laws, which you may not be familiar with considering how much of an imbecile you are. Now that brings us to the final piece of this information right here is that they do allow filming within a minimum distance of 200 feet from this facility. And given from what we've seen here already, that is quite understandable. So, Lana, I have not even gotten to the uh, points of your lawsuit yet. I'm saving that till the very end. But, Lana, you failed already. I mean, come on now. But I would expect nothing less than total, complete failure from uh, J-Town Press as, well, she's one of the people on here that don't really do any research whatsoever. I'm going to have to ask you to either shut your camera off or go outside. Okay, have a nice day. Thank you. I count that as twice already that you've been asked to leave. So that is essentially trespassing right there, Lana. Yet you refuse to leave and you end up getting yourself trespassed. And now you filed a federal laugh out loud lawsuit because of this. And I still think that you will fall flat on your face when you go to court over this. I mean, it is so freaking ridiculous to read, but we'll let her read it to us later on. But in the meantime, due to her having a camera inside of a rather information-sensitive area, they shut down service to prevent that information from being captured by the camera. And, uh, well, she doesn't seem to understand why that is. So let's carry on, shall we? A little longer than a few minutes later. <laughs> can do I need to go and pay for stuff so I can get out of here I got kids but you're recording can you please leave so that we can go about our business and finish our daily routine is she the reason yes. why there's nobody up here she's the reason you want to hit the road for real we have stuff we have to do you can't see our personal information you can't be recording while we're just making transactions so now we all have to sit here because of you I'm sorry, ma'am, but your perfectly reasonable uh, uh, pleas are falling on deaf ears with uh, Lana right here, considering that, well, she has no morals, she has no uh, ethics, she has no empathy for anybody else other than her. In fact, like I said before, she believes that just because she's a member of the press, that grants her special rights and privileges above everybody else. And this right here just demonstrates that mindset that since she believes she's a member of the press and that does grant her rights above you, ma'am, she's making sure that you know that, that you are indeed nothing to her because she is all high and mighty at this point. She is way above you in her mind. Okay. 
dead, right? Why are you here? Can we ask? You can. I, I get it. Why are you here? So you can't speak? No, she's just going to sit here and make our lives miserable. Yes. I'm making your life miserable? Yeah. I didn't we refuse service. Okay. I didn't tell them to... Because of you. Okay. They, they're refusing service. I didn't tell them to refuse your service. They're refusing service because it's a violation of our rights to have you videotape our stuff. <laughs> Um, can we put a barricade over by her? We'll just block her in that corner. <laughs> it's called a heckler's veto. They're trying to get y'all pissed off at me because they don't want to do their job. That way they violate my rights and your rights. Such a false little narrative, you lying little pile of scum right there. I mean... They want to do their jobs, but they want to do so by protecting the privacy of those that are in this, well, the non-traditional public forum right here. Because if you really wanted to film, and you wanted to film at all, you could go outside onto the public forum and uh, record from the sidewalk. But that's not really the whole point of this, is it? This is just to make you feel like you're the big person around here to make you feel important, to make you feel special because you shut this place down. Essentially a power move from somebody who has really had no power in their life. Is that right? <laughs> Can you have the police meet me outside? That way you can kind of actually help these people, send her for a fuse in them. I'll be back in after I deal with the police. I'm assuming you guys called the police on me. Oh, we haven't. Would you like us to? But, uh, that's, she told me she did, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah if you want to yeah, have them meet outside, we'll yeah. Yeah, yeah. That way course. you can help people and I'll Thank meet them outside. Three. You're welcome. I'll be right out here. I'll be right back. You would think that she'd do the courteous thing and walk outside to wait for the police, but no, 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 no. That's not what she does. She comes right back in and uh, brings business right back down to a halt. So let's uh, carry on, shall we? Five minutes later. Huh. This man is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. So she stopped everybody from, from assisting people over a camera. It's not the camera itself that's the problem. It's the idiot behind the camera who doesn't seem to understand that, well, they're trying to keep information private in a uh, building that has a lot of private information. But unfortunately for this particular imbecile right here, they seem to lack that part of the brain that... Uh, can feel empathy for anybody so yeah so we all have to suffer because you lack that part of your brain uh lana maybe one day you'll find it or maybe the one day they'll find a way to surgically reattach it but in the meantime we all have to suffer with your incompetence <laughs> So you just spam it. So. I'm just sitting here peacefully reporting, and they're and they're shutting down the DMV over our camera. Let that let that sink in. They shut it down. Yeah, they're not helping anybody because of this. Oh, lady, I know you ain't gonna have me sitting up there. <laughs> That's what they're doing. Ain't nothing funny about that, man. I'm not laughing. I'm either. Put in a complaint. Tell them. Well, Voice your concerns. This is ridiculous. You should have nothing to do. You gonna be here all day? Maybe if I have to. You too. Ah, ah, cam back, cam back, cam back. Oh no, Lana's getting upset over a cam back. Oh no, and look what she put right here a policy breaker. Hey, Lana, I thought you didn't give a damn about policy. Now all of a sudden it fits your little narrative and it's just fine. Oh, the hypocrisy that you frauditors have. Oh, my 
goodness, it's all fine and dandy until somebody decides to uh, stand up to you. You just want to have a seat? Can I can take your name and your phone number. Who's filming? Just take your name and your phone number. Okay. 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 We're looking at the submission on the count. Okay. Which is not. Sure. If we have to have them have a seat, then and we're stopping business, then that's <laughs> trespassing. Okay. So. Step on your booth. We're talking. Sure. Yeah. I'm just in public. Okay. But I'm, I'm, I'm not in this is in a public. Oh, okay. I'm, in, I'm in public, sir. I'm asking you to step over. Are you? Are you order me? Yes. Sir. Okay. Under what? Under threat of arrest? Are you gonna arrest Obstruction me? Obstruction of justice. Obstruction of yeah. justice. Oh, okay. I'll stand over here. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so you're, you're an office manager. Yes, do you want her trust bound? I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. You have to come tell her that her pre presence here, she's no longer welcome here. Okay. And that you're issuing a trespass warning. And then we'll go from there. Okay. Okay. But, um, I'm can't come in here anymore. Or have them order a sure. Come on there. You'll be able to get copies of it when it's submitted. Yes, ma'am. For okay. trespass after morning. Okay. I'll leave the federal. Thank you, ma'am. Do you mind sharing your identification with me? No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm just asking law. you, ma'am. Yep, you I'm can asking you. Citizen. Okay. And I, can I, I have your name and badge on the Yes, ma'am. I'm Sergeant Sharman. I'm with the Dane City Police Can I see your badge so I know how to it's, spell it? Yeah, it's Sharman. That's a Sharman. Okay. What's your badge number? And now is it from the building or the tax collector's office? It's, it's from the, the building, building right this morning. Okay. okay. Can I have a written trespass? Okay. Well, you'll be able to get one from the well, thing, but, from but you. unless unless I have your identification, no, I, I get them so all I can. the time. Don't okay. So I know. Well, go ahead. I'm just going to list you as a Jane, Jane Doe. Well, can I have a can okay. I have a written trespass? No, not right now. Okay. So if I go, you have to get it from me. records. Okay. But you have been issued a trespass. Okay. So okay. if I go back, can I have your name real quick, sir? Captain William Rowe. I'm sorry. Captain William Rowe. And what's your ID? My ID number. My my ID number is DC423. Is that your badge number too? It's all the same. Okay, so I'm assuming yeah. you're in charge. Yeah. So you're telling me under well, threat of arrest? I know, but I, so if I walk back in, I'll be arrested? Absolutely. Okay. So, so you, 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 do, you do understand, and I, I'm not refusing to leave. I'm just having a conversation with you at this point. Okay. okay. And that's the only reason I'm still at this location. Okay. But I'm telling you, that's open to the public, and now you just violated my rights. Okay. Okay. Have a nice day. Okay. Are you okay. with the Sheriff's Department? No. Thank you. No problem. I, she would not provide. She would, provide. She would not. She's causing, she's causing a disturbance here. Okay. Well, you take them here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She she refuses to give me identification, and she left on her own free. I wanted to trust her. the screen up. Got a ninja turtle in there. Huh. A police number 93. Number 69. Oh lord. How does it feel to be a tyrant? I don't know, Lana. Why don't you go ahead and tell us? Because you were the one acting like a complete tyrant in there by uh, throwing your weight around, acting like you were better than everybody else, and uh, basically shutting the place down because you couldn't get your own way. I mean, that sounds more like a tyrant than uh, what these officers are doing by trespassing you from this establishment. I mean, come on now. Alana, don't try to flip the script on us and expect us to buy it. Your ignorant sheep may buy it, but, well, the average intelligent person 
won't buy it. Can I get a comment on your on, on being pirates? Can you see your ID, your identification? Please? Sure. Is it is it required by law? Yes, it is. Okay. okay. And so if I don't give it to you, then what? Then we can place it under arrest. So you have a place under arrest? Well, I don't have an ID, but I can give you my name under threat of arrest. That would be good. Yeah, that sure. Great. Maybe you should get a real job. Oh yeah, wow. Sure. God bless you. Have a good day. Who am I giving it to you? I'll take it. It's fine. Lana, L A N A. L A N A. Common spelling? Yes. Are oh, you did a birth? Oh. Okay. You ever had an ID in Florida? Well, that's all I'm required to give to you. I'm, I'm just asking the question. No, you ever had an ID? I'm required to give to you, sir. Okay. Under law. Under threat of arrest. Okay. I'm just verify. So you guys are labeled tyrants now, officially. Date City. That's disgusting. Okay. Absolutely disgusting. We got called here because we were disturbed. Out of, out of a disturbance? Did you know what the case law is that, that has to do with reporting specifically? You're reporting behind the counter. When did I report behind the counter? That's what they said. Did you even That's do an investigation to find out? Can I, I can show you the video. You want to show us video? Or you look did you review their video, their they footage? They don't want you on the property. So you're, they don't have the right to do that. I have a right, I have a civil right to be in there and receive service as any other taxpayer. So I want you to say, uh, wow, Lana, uh, you uh, just continue to prove that you have no idea what the differences are between civil rights and civil liberties are. I mean, we're about to take this to court and you can't even tell the difference between either one of them. I mean, good freaking grief, Lana. You're about to uh, be laughed out of a court. I mean, good luck with that lawsuit, but I'm sure you're going to be, uh, well, shown the door with that one. Is there, you have body camera? You have a body camera, don't you? I just got it. Okay. Is that us? What's that? So, what I want you to do is look up Price v. Garland and also Brandsburg v. Hayes. So, one says that videoing cannot be expressive, which cannot be caused a disturbance. And also, the other one says wherever the press can go, or wherever the public can go, the press can go. So, you just violated my civil rights. For absolutely nothing. I was in there peacefully, didn't say a word to anybody unless they spoke to me. I've gone over both of these cases before uh, in other videos. Yeah, uh, Brandberg versus Hayes is not what you think it is. And I'm sure the other one is just something you pulled out of your ass once again. So, yeah, why even bother looking it up considering that you're generally wrong on everything you say? Okay. We just got called. I never, ever brought my hand over to and broke the plane. Okay. Ever. Fair enough. Now, you can't trust past guys just like you guys use plain view doctrine all day long, and I can put my camera up against your car before the side of it. There's nothing you can do. It's called, you can't trust past the eyes, sir. I appreciate the education in the world. Well, you obviously don't know. You just violated my rights. You just removed me under threat of arrest out of a public building. Boy, shit y'all got to put up with. Well, I've had enough of this uh, ditzy person uh, whining about rights that she doesn't understand being violated. So let's go ahead and get to this uh, lawsuit that she claims that she filed. I mean, this federal lawsuit that she claims to have filed. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? Welcome back, J-Fam, to the J-Town Express here in Dade City, Florida. I have a huge update for everybody, but first I want to sit there and play the little clip for you. That way maybe you can remember this. If you didn't see it, the full video and the full link will be down in the description. Go watch it and see what happened. I'm going to play you guys a couple clips. That way you can see what video it is, and then I'll tell you what the update is. Well, Lana, I've already played the video for everybody, and I've shown how much of an incompetent ignoramus you are so you might want to reconsider this uh lol lawsuit before you get laughed right out of court and uh well yeah but i don't think you'll do that i mean i think you'll just uh claim victory as the case is dismissed or something like that i mean something stupid like that at the very least 
You so I'm assuming you're in charge. Yeah. So you're telling me under threat well, of arrest. I know, but I, so if I walk back in, I'll be arrested. Absolutely. Okay. Trespass so you, you do you do understand, and I, I'm not refusing to leave. I'm just having a conversation with you at this point. Okay. Okay. And that's the only reason I'm still at this location. Okay. But I'm telling you, that's open to the public, and now you just violated my rights. Okay. Okay. Have a nice day. Okay. Are you with the okay. sheriff's department or Dade City, City Police? Dade City Police. Police. All right. Yep. You'll definitely hear from me. Thank okay. you. Okay. No problem. ID. Your identification. Please. Sure. Is it is it required by law? Yes. It Okay, so if I don't give it to you, then what? Then we can place you under arrest. So you can see that there's multiple violations here done by the Dade City Police, specifically Sergeant Shireman and Captain Rowe. You can see that Lisa McGuire, the Pasco County Tax Collector's Office, she is the one who trespassed me. So in the United States District Court, Middle District of Florida, I have filed a federal lawsuit citing 42 U.S.C. 1983. And that is uh, under color of law right there color of law being civil rights so basically you are still claiming that your civil rights were violated when clearly you don't know what the hell your civil rights are to begin with you don't know the difference between civil liberties and civil rights and so therefore you're suing under something that is not related to your situation whatsoever uh so yeah uh I'm sure you're going to go pro se with this because you didn't find any lawyer that could help you out with this because it's total bullshit to begin with. I'm sure that's why you haven't mentioned a lawyer or will never mention a lawyer because they know better than this. There are four separate claims. Claim one is a First Amendment claim. All three defendants did unlawfully trespass me from a publicly accessible area of a public building without any indication that I had broken any laws or had obstructed or impeded any business. Wow, you actually put that on there? Uh, let me ask you something, uh, Lana. Uh, you do realize you can get trespassed without committing a crime in the state of Florida. In fact, that goes to say with any state in the union. I mean, if you actually put this in your federal lawsuit, uh, well, uh, yeah, I'm afraid it's not going to go very far. Claim two is a First Amendment retaliation claim. All three defendants retaliated against me for exercising my First Amendment right to free press. I was exercising my right to record my government officials in the course of their duties, and because they did not like me doing so, they conspired to violate my rights by trespassing me. Yeah, Donna, uh, yeah, this can go down the toilet just like everything else in your uh, LOL lawsuit because, well, this... Right here just shows you have no idea about the Florida's two-party consent laws either. I mean, the, you were in a, in a non-public forum filming in an area with a lot of sensitive information. They showed you their policy as a result. They asked you to leave, and they trespassed you. This is all your own damn fault, you ninny. Claim 3, a Fourth Amendment violation. Defendants Shireman and Rowe violated my Fourth Amendment right to be free from unreasonable searches by threatening me with arrest in order to unlawfully get my ID for a trespass warning. Well, Lana, that goes without saying. You have to prove in a court of law that the uh, trespass itself was unlawful. You have to prove that getting uh, your ID was unlawful. You have to prove all that in a court. And so far, I've torn apart, I'm not even a lawyer, and I've torn apart uh, so much of your uh, bullshit right here. I, I can only imagine what an actual lawyer would do to this. Claim 4, 14th due process violation. All three defendants violated my due process by taking my liberty interest in public property without providing a deprivation hearing or any kind of appeal process. Wow, Lana, you actually put that on there as well? I mean, they don't hold court in the streets. They do that in an actual structure building where they have a formal setting where all this can be laid out. They didn't violate your due process. This was your first step in the due process. I mean, even a child can figure this out, Lana. I mean, good freaking grief. You expect this to be, well, not laughed out of court or anything like that? 
Oh my god, Lana, you have to be one of the most incompetent people out on YouTube that I have ever seen. But you know what? I look forward to this being put through the courts and seeing what happens. I really don't think that much of anything will come of this. So you know what, Lana? Yeah, you may have filed a federal lawsuit, but nothing will come of that. I can guarantee you that because this is a pile of crap. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?